Hey guys, I want to welcome you back to Texas Silver. I'm back at the uh, Pro Riders Ranch with Chris Gentry. I'm going to have to locate him. I think he went inside to go do some things. But anyways, I'm out here at his uh, mini ramp. So maybe one of these days I can have him uh, ride that and maybe put that on the video. Uh, but the last video that we did, we built this, um, uh, this rocket stove. And so I actually went and used this stuff. It's called uh, Rust-Oleum and uh it is for high heat and you can use it to treat barbecue pits and wood stoves and stuff like that so i ended up spraying it down well chris i guess watched a couple more videos about rocket stoves and he wants to make some modifications to it i actually uh used it made a video uh, but i think the modifications that we're going to make are going to make it uh, burn even better uh, the key to these things is oxygen and i think it may uh, do better, but I think we're going to go ahead and modify it and we'll show you the modifications and then uh, after that I'm going to take it home and I'm going to show you how to use it and hopefully it does really well. So stay tuned All right, so I located Chris. He's uh, in the warehouse. So back by popular demand here We have the one and only Chris Gentry. Yeah. Here he is. What's going on? Yeah. How you doing Aaron? Oh, uh, yeah. Welcome back. Appreciate it. We're here to remodify. Yeah, we are. We're gonna make it to where it uh, probably burns a little bit hotter that's yeah. that's the key to these things yeah, so I think what we're gonna do is add this two inch piece right here this two by four inch piece right here we're gonna put a little angle on it and we're gonna give us a little breather down here at the bottom i'm gonna plasma cut her out a little notch put that little piece right there boom slide it in you're gonna get a lot of good airflow right there it's gonna be pretty amazing it's gonna get real hot cool hey do you want me to do any grinding chris no you know i think i can handle this i don't want you to burn up those crocs right there <laughs> you know? okay yeah we don't want to burn up the crocs yeah. You know how the you know how precious those are to me. So all right, hold up, man. You ain't got no socks on, so yeah, let me handle this. I don't have the the right. Up, yeah, I'm, that's what I'm here for. Okay, cool. All right, we're gonna get after this. They're still in one piece. I made it. Cool. Don't step on that with your cracks. No. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it looks good. Get that modified is we'll clean these grubs up a little bit. We're gonna fill in a couple big gaps. But that's gonna give us a good intake right there. See how hollow it is in there? Yeah, it looks good. Boom, hollow in there. Hollow out the back. Ashes out the back. Boom. Hot on the top. Wood in there. We'll clean this up. You paint it black. Boom. Hey. Instant. Let's go. Black stoves Let's matter, right? Black stoves matter. <laughs> right here, boom. A little air holes in there. Look at that, look straight off the showroom floor. So how much are you gonna start selling these for, Chris? Oh, uh, you know, about $2.99. $2.99? Something like that. All right, start placing your orders. Place your orders. 
does a new one. Yeah, this thing's ready. Look at that. Boom. Cool, looks good. So here, let's hit this back real quick. Boom. Inside there. All right. See, there's a bunch that I've seen on Amazon, but they're just cheap. Yeah. Yeah, so I I wanted that? one that was made solid. Yeah, you gotta have a solid. That's solid as it gets right there. That's steel, baby. Eighth inch steel. That's heavy duty. That's got a lot of good airflow in there. Yeah, you got plenty of room in there. Lift that. Look at that. Lift the back. Oh yeah, look yeah. at the back. Yeah. Boom. So then, you got a lot of juice there. Yep. Yeah. And then you, you got, got a lot you. of breathing hole there. Yeah. You got a breathing hole there. there. Oh, it's breathing. That thing's yeah. breathing. Key is oxygen. All right, cool. Yeah, Aaron, uh, I know we had to do a little comeback over here and do a little remodifying. So what we did was we cut this thing off, took it all off. We added an air vent on there, gave it that K feature. Air comes in through the bottom, comes out through the back. All this is hollow in here, so when you feed the wood in here, it should get tons of airflow. And then this right here, ashes will come out of the back, put them in a shovel. Got your pot up here, wood in here, air in here, and there it is, airing it out. Appreciate it, Aaron. This has been a fun project, man. No, I appreciate you doing it for me. Yeah, man. Uh, thanks for coming by the Pro Riders Ranch here. We got the cows right here. Check out the cows. Cook one of those up on one of these stoves. We'll be good. Look at that tank all the way down there. Yeah. We're ready. Yeah, Chris has a beautiful place out here, and I'm recording my hand. That's yeah. great. <laughs> We're blessed. But yeah, man, you guys enjoy. I hope you have a good time with this thing and uh, let me know how it works. Yeah, will do. Appreciate it, brother. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I gathered uh, these sticks and then I grabbed uh, all these branches. And so I'll get it started with all the little stuff. And then, up, oh, Athena wants to say hi. Hey, baby. What are you doing? Huh? Hey, what you doing? What do you have on your nose? I don't even want to know what you got into. <sighs> okay. Anyways, okay, back to this. So, uh, I got some bigger stuff just that way when I get it going. And then, like I said, this stuff, I'm going to get it going with, with here. But the, I didn't have to cut up anything. This is just pieces that I picked up lying on the ground. All right, well, Bailey's over here and wants to say hi. What you doing, girl? Huh? You want to say hi? Yeah. And <sighs> what are you doing, boy? And you got firecracker on the trampoline. Hey. Yeah. That tastes good? Huh? I'm sure that's really healthy for you. All right, let's go back to this rocket stove. <laughs> Enough of this. Yeah, mama cut you off. I know, I'm, I've got that up on your stump. Yeah? You approve? Yeah? Oh, yeah. I think he said that was approved. All right, guys, made it back to the ranch. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fire this thing up, show you all how this works. Uh, I had a lot of comments about uh, if I was going to show you all how to use this thing. Of course I'm going to. And look who's here. <laughs> oh... All right, hold on. You want your second of fame, huh? Yeah. There's Firecracker. Okay, he's probably going to mess with my camera, but I'll try and get through this. Uh, so Chris already went kind of through the thing of how it works and all that. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of uh, talk as I go uh, through this and show you how this thing works. All right, so 
So generally, your rocket stoves don't have this uh, part in the back, but we added it because I think it'll it'll benefit. And what I like about it is one, I can get the ash as it cooks, but also I can light the fire from underneath because it's it's better to light the fire from underneath and then let let the fire grow because it's it's going to grow upwards. Uh, it's going to burn upwards, so it'll make it easier for lighting as well. So that may be too much. So. I'm gonna throw this. Actually, I'm just gonna do it from the top, and then I'll and then I'll top load it. But so the benefits to these uh, rocket stoves is you don't have to have a lot of tools and stuff um, to get the wood. You can literally walk around, and I already walked around the property. But what you're gonna do is just gather a bunch of sticks like this. Okay, this is this is fine, and you just keep feeding it through here. It's gonna pull the oxygen from here, also uh, down through there. And then it creates why it's called a rocket stove is because it's just gonna make this like almost jet engine sound. And it's just gonna make uh, just this, not ball of fire, but I don't even know what to call it. But it's just, it's almost like a butane lighter, but on a big scale. Uh, so you're, and, and so that'll boil your water really quick. So these are really good for your, uh, if you have the uh, freeze dried foods, this is a really quick way to boil the water. And uh, what I like about it also is it's not a big fire. Uh, so it's not gonna put out a lot of smoke. Uh, so if you're trying to be covert, uh, it's not gonna put off this massive uh, smoke signature. And when it starts burning, it actually burns really clean to where there's almost gonna be little to no smoke at all. Uh, also, what I like about it is if you were gonna boil a pot of water, say on a bed of coals you have to gather a lot of firewood and have a massive fire and let it burn down this thing you just walk around pick up sticks that you can find anywhere you don't have to have an uh you don't have to have an axe to, or a saw to you know cut and split the wood you can literally just walk around pick this stuff up and feed it to it so they're they're really economical uh on on wood burning and all that so they're great so i'm gonna go ahead and get this thing fired up so i'm actually gonna load some from the top to get this thing going and you don't want big sticks you don't need really big sticks uh, once it's burning pretty good you could probably do some sticks that are you know maybe the width of your thumb or something but you don't want a bunch of massive sticks you just want twigs So I got that, now I'm gonna front load it from here. And you want them pretty straight, that way they can slide down the, uh, the chamber. So I'm trying to break off everything that's kind of uh, sticking out to the side. It just makes it easier to feed. So as the fire burns, the uh, sticks that are burning are just going down the chimney. Or I'm sorry, down, down the uh, chute. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and light this thing, see if we can get her going. today come on baby give it some oxygen and let it get going Okay, so obviously when it's when it's getting going, it's gonna smoke. It's gonna smoke quite a bit. Uh, but once it actually is burning clean, then you're not gonna have a lot of smoke being generated. Oh yeah, there it goes. Right, and then 
then you're just gonna keep feeding it sticks. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's burning a lot better. So uh, originally we didn't have this and I know Chris talked about it, but we added this. So now it's gonna suck the air through and it's, uh, if you know anything about fires, what you do is you can blow on the coals and that gets the coals going. It's kind of the same concept, but you don't have to sit here and blow. Uh, the, the oxygen that's being pulled through the stove through here is just gonna constantly uh, blow and add oxygen. And I know I mentioned in the, the video earlier, but the key to these stoves is oxygen. Okay, if it doesn't, if it's not able to breathe, then it's gonna go out. All right, I'm gonna keep adding sticks here to, to get this thing going good. Okay, so I don't know if you can see, but we've got a flame that's starting to come out the top. Okay, so we've got a pretty good flame coming out the top, uh, but if you can tell, see there's not really much smoke from it. And uh, so the, the wood gets fed in here, you just keep feeding it, and then the air is gonna, gonna run through there. So that's how this thing works. There's, there's really not much to it. Uh, I just wanted a good quality one. You can buy them. Um, you know, on Amazon and, and online and stuff, but I just wanted one that, uh, you know, was going to be a little bit more quality. Okay, so I went ahead and I, I turned it that way. The direction of the wind was, was blowing into the intake. But, uh, yeah, we've got a pretty decent flame going on there. I know it's kind of hard to see with the lighting, but we're getting pretty decent flame out the top. I don't know if you can hear that hissing, but that's the uh, the air being pulled through. All right, so now you can now you can probably uh, hear it a little bit better. But look at the flame that's coming out, and the only reason why that thing's not shooting straight up in the air is because it's so windy out here. Um, but yeah, these things are awesome. So I don't know if you can hear the whistling. 
but that's why it's called a rocket stove. Um, I may come back out here uh, tonight when the wind dies down a little bit, uh, see if we can get a good flame out the top, but you, you get the gist of it. But these things are awesome. They don't use a lot of wood and they will boil water really quick. Uh, also, just make sure that you remember to get a good uh, cast iron cookware and learn how to cook with it. Uh, because you don't want to be using your house pots and pans to be to be cooking on this thing So here's a look at what's going on down inside this thing So look at those coals they're bright red because it's it's pulling the air through there. So it's just constant getting uh, Airflow feeding this thing. So then you would just keep feeding your sticks down uh, down this All right, guys, so that's the rocket stove. Uh, it's pretty simple. Um, not much to it. If you have any questions, I guess comment below. Uh, and then also, if you can, share this with your friends, family, whoever you think would benefit from this. Uh, like the videos, subscribe, and also hit the bell notification. Uh, that way you get notified when I drop another one. Appreciate everyone being here, and I'm going to keep trying to do different videos. Uh, I don't want to sound like a broken record. Uh, also, another thing, I've been getting some questions on the bottom of videos, video topics that I've already covered. Uh, so if you could just go back and look at my other videos and some of the questions you have uh, may be answered in other videos that I've made. I actually had a, um, a question about, I had a safe question today about a gun safe and I have a video out about that. So if you can just go through my videos, go down there. Uh, if it's not covered, then put it in the comments below and I will maybe hopefully try and cover it in a video if it's something that I want to cover. Thanks again. Y'all take care. God bless. Guys, hey, I forgot real quick. If you want to see uh, or check out uh, more information about Chris uh, Gentry, uh, he does have a YouTube channel. I'm going to include that link down below and on the other video, I actually included it. So if I for some reason forget, go back to the other video of us making this. And uh, his YouTube channel is on there. He has some videos of him uh, skateboarding and also some of his rap videos. So, wow, this thing's really smoking now. <laughs> uh, I added some wood to it, but uh, so so once it starts burning good, then it'll it'll start. I, I turned it to where the air's going through it, so maybe that's why. Um, but anyways, see, see the flame that's coming out of that thing now? Uh, but once it starts uh, burning that stuff that I added, the, the smoke will go away and uh, it'll, it'll keep burning clean. Uh, that's it, take care.